it's me, Panda, otherwise known as the Grind Panda. Welcome to episode 11 of my Pyro 101 adventure. You can probably tell. I'm still currently sick, though, so, um, but I'm getting better. I'm hopefully getting better, at, uh, from being sick, so, um, what did we do last time? Oh, yeah, we were in the Volcano Dungeon. It was really called Volcano, and I can't probably hear right. Because my allergies, I know. It's it's a little bit, you know, frustrating trying to, like, make a video while doing sick. Yeah, it's it's pretty worrisome. So, I'm going to try to make as, as many videos as I, as I can this week. <clears throat> um, speaking of which, um, you should probably, some, some people on Facebook should probably realize... Okay, what was I saying? Oh yeah, some people should probably know, some people might already know that the Final Reach 5 was going to be a fake, and and you guys were actually right, because I wasn't even planning on creating a Final Reach 5. I, I actually promised that the Final Reach 4 would be the final part. So like, and plus, it wouldn't even make sense if there was a Final Reach 5. Like, that would just be, like, the end of the whole project, wouldn't it? Well, uh, I was thinking on it, but I decided, like, it wouldn't make sense if there was a fifth one. There there would never be a fifth sequel in, like, any other movie. So, why uh, why not, like, do it? It, 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 was, it, was, it was very stupid of me to create this joke for you all, but I just had to. I really wanted to mess with you guys for a little bit, so I'm, I'm, pre I'm pretty much sorry. Wow. Business with His Excellency? I trust you have a letter of introduction. Ah, let me see. So, you are... Okay, so, um, so, The Final Reach 5 it has not been confirmed. I'm sorry, guys. I just wanted to lay some mess with you. Um, just because I never lay, laid any mess with you guys on the channel yet. So I just thought I would lay some mess with you by confirming a Final Reach 5. <laughs> And that turned out pretty terrible. So, no Final Reach 5. But, however, I am continuing Venturian Tales. And there's going to be a casting call coming up on either Saturday or Sunday. So, uh, so I'm pretty much hoping for, like, better voice actors. And there are going to be some new characters along the way. So, you guys are probably going to know that out. Also, on episode 5 of season 1. You may have noticed there has already been a new character introduced. You probably might figure that out at the end of the episode. So, let's continue on this. So you are Scarlet Ironside? Avery got your credential letter. Momo hopes it is good. Ah, Duke Albert Magnus <laughs> Marleybone. I hope you have a good journey. And that your wife, the Duchess, is well? <laughs> That's a fine likeness, that is. <laughs> it looks just like it. These credentials are fine, but I cannot, alas, let you see His Excellency the Governor. At least, not dressed as you are. See if you can find the shop of Bernardo Sastre, the tailor. He'll make sure your lack of fashion doesn't disgrace you when you see the Governor. Lack of fashion? What? Lack of fashion? You're kidding me. Like, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I look very well. I, I look. I look pretty. I look pretty good. Okay. I don't need like a new makeup or anything. Why are you looming over my shop, gangly one? Oh my goodness. The major domo is quite right. You are dressed like a savage. I am not. Is he talking to you? But I shall take pity on your plight. Aww. There's nothing to be ashamed of. It's hardly your fault you were raised without the tiniest shred of culture or civilization. To fabricate something acceptable in your size will be uh, difficult. I must charge you 50,000 gold coins. What? Labor included. Too expensive? There is an alternative. House Guzman has an unfair monopoly on Mushu Silk. Bring me silk from their ships. I make your suit. Okay. <clears throat> this is a little bit harsh. They think they think I'm crazy. They think I'm, you know, a little bit loopy. You know what I mean? 
and I should probably be right back. Well, we took care of that. Now let's head back to that um, monkey that says that we need a new style or something that said our fashion was terrible. competitors will miss it dearly. <laughs> I took the liberty of making this suit while you were gone. It will fit, don't worry. I delivered it to the governor's palace. The major domo has it. Oh really? How nice. What about Campo? And my other companions. Really? What about Campo and the others? You must be here for your suit. It certainly took you long enough. Here it is. Okay, thank you. Oh, you look marvelous. My cousin Sastre the Tailor has done you proud. You're ready to see the governor now. You may proceed upstairs. Okay. Good luck and do try to behave yourself. I can dress you properly. But I fear I'll never make a monkeystan out of you. Alright. At What? What? Seriously? Okay, hold on. I'll I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm sorry. I just I just had to pause it because I didn't know what the heck just happened to my character. Well, Captain, you certainly look uh, well you look uh, just say it ridiculous captain you look ridiculous i know Those monkeys are making a monkey out of you they are greetings you're very bold to, to come here wearing last year's fashion you've come all the way from skull island what are you a pirate yes a treaty how fascinating. I shall give it all due interest and respect. Do you have a gift? I am honored. This chalice is uh, very fine, I'm sure. Yeah, sure. Ah, I see now. You are expecting to see Governor Ortega. Ah, I fear he was declared a traitor to the realm and sealed in a dark pit. So sorry. It has been pleasant speaking with you, but my duties demand my attention. I shall consider your treaty closely. The major domo will have my answer. Okay. Seriously, what Bonnie said. I know, I look ridiculous. His Excellency is too polite to directly refuse, but I assure you, he will never sign your treaty. His answer is a no. What? Your gift was... An embarrassment, to say the least. But there may be something else you can offer in return for signing your treaty. I know who you are. You are the pirate who robbed the Presidio, yes? What? There are some. How did you know? Use of your boldness and cunning. What? Seek out Bishop Hidalgo in the cathedral. He may have an offer that will interest you. But for pity's sake, don't go dressed like that. Okay, I won't. How did he know? Scarlet, how did he know? How did he Major Domo Domo know? <laughs> Major Domo Domo. But really though, how did he know? This is starting to get creepy up in here. I trust you are not here to pray. We have much to speak of. Okay. I know your errand, and I know that it is doomed if left to formal channels. 
but on a more informal level, okay. a task must be done, vital to the crown. The demands of honor make it impossible for any monquistador to do it. But you are no monquistador. I ain't. Oh, another puppet show. I'm ready. The islands of this cluster are covered in ancient ruins whose mysterious builders vanished long ago. Nobody knows who they were or what they were doing. <laughs> and now I'm an alien and squid. laid in the living rock of their temples. Gold. The Monquista came to Skull Island before any of the other nations of the Spiral. The gold we cry from these woods makes us wealthy and powerful. Old Monquistadors led the conquest of Skull Island, but one name outshines all the rest. Cortez. We owe him Cortez. our wealth, our influence, our very empire. Almost a year ago, Cortez embarked on his latest adventure. I am asking you to follow him into the very heart of the Isle of Doom. It what? Be afraid. The island is named after its discoverer, uh, Baron Ferdinand von Doom, who was unfortunately devoured by a giant snake. I hear oh, the island okay. is a very pleasant place, as long as you avoid the swarms of carnivorous bees, flesh-eating plants, and okay. the savage frog tribes with poisonous skin. I have no doubt you will do very well there. Cortez was drawn to the Isle of Doom by rumors of vast treasures on that shadowed island. At first, Cortez was triumphant, as always. He and his troops cut a swath into the jungle, crushing all who opposed them. Gold poured out of the jungle, more gold than ever before. But in the months that followed, disquieting rumors reached us here. Cortez, they said, had lost his way and was doing questionable things. Four months ago, all contact was lost with Cortez and his army. Their fate was not known until a Monquistador came staggering out of the deep jungle, raving with fever. He said Cortez had built a kingdom for himself in the jungle and ruled it like a tyrant. What? He had also found something wondrous. The gold monkey. A treasure beyond reckoning. You must act where our strongest cannot. Go to the Isle of Doom, find Cortez, and bring him and this gold monkey to the governor. Succeed, and I will ensure the governor signs your treaty. Go to Arroyo the Outfitter. He will prepare you for your journey. Okay. What? 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 Okay. This Isle of Doom here is starting to get very confusing. The name sounds dangerous, but it's not really a dangerous place. I don't get it. I seriously don't get it. Okay, where are we supposed to go again? Oh, here. of doom i hear it's a lovely place yeah why did you keep clear of the monster spiders and spiders the skyways near the island have grown very dangerous the scurvy dogs and the hungry fish make the place too difficult for most ships to approach when you sail there i ask you to take these food supplies to the gold miners they've been cut off for weeks you'll be a hero to them i'm gonna end the episode here Right now, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you did enjoy this this episode of the series, and be sure to high five that like button. I will see all of you party animals in the next video.